Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on this mystifying planet called Earth, I hope wherever you're located, you're having a scintillating day, evening, or night, wherever you're located. Today, on my Blender channel, I'm going to be talking about nodes. Now, before I talk about the nodes, I want to tell you all, I've only been learning about these shaders for three weeks. So I'm not no veteran. I'm new like you. But, thanks to looking at YouTube videos, thanks to looking at two Udemy videos that I've gotten, I have become better understanding these procedural nodes. In the past, I had no idea what the shader nodes was for. I thought it was like the compositor almost. The compositor and the shader, they serve two different functions. The shaders, basically dealing with materials, not no image texture. That's what you, it's dealing with material that you have created, such as rust, dirt, tree bark floor tiles, you know, the thing that's repeating. That's what the shit is for. Substance that's repeating or have a pattern or just looks similar throughout. That's what it's for. Yeah. Like I said, I'm still new to you, the shaders. You all see my little diagram right here. Right here. I have this uh, cube. It's usually associated with the texture corners but since I'm still new many YouTube channels flash this cube right here with the various colors with the various these flashes but I said what the colors mean <laughs> you mean no one ever told me when I click over here what in the world do those colors mean no one ever told me that. No one. Now, one video explained, so I had to discover on my own what they mean, and that's the purpose for this video today, to discover what these colors mean. And, and to discover what the colors mean, it's best to use the separate RGB, which I'm going to be using. Now, I do know right here, all the way in this corner right here, when I use gen um, generated, it's black. I know it means black. And I know black means when it comes to the bump map, when it comes to the bump map, black basically means this. Let me go back to my layout mode. Let me go to my, uh, my pencil. I have a surface such as this. When it comes to blunt map, uh, black means concave. When it makes that illusion of a 3D substance, black just means it's concave. Here's my substance again. When it goes up like a haley shape, that's white. White basically makes the contour and a good thing about the procedural textures is that it does not actually it's like the compositor it does not actually affect your actual geometry so when we use the bump maps and it makes the black look like it's going down just an illusion and it makes the white look like it's coming up to make it 3d looking it's just an illusion i know that I know that. And those colors are based on that. Black and white. Which I'm going to go over in, a, in several moments. So let me erase this. So that what black mean. Concave. White mean convex. So I'm done with that. Let's get back into the shader. Now. So. I know right here. Black is in that lower 
when it's on generated, black is on that lower left corner. And I'm going to keep it on generated because that's all I really need today to explain this little tutorial. Now, I'm going to go to my RGB. Here's my RGB. I'm going to zoom in a little so it can be larger. Okay, that's good. And I discovered this when I'm watching videos. A lot of YouTube videos, it's hard to see the titles of the nodes because they don't zoom in that much. I said, what's that, what's that node title? So that's why I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see what I'm titled. Now, I'm on, like I said, black is that lower right-hand corner where my mouth's circling at. Now, I'm using the RGB, RGB node where you see my when it's on, is it on? What color is it on? Oh, let me do this. Oh, it's not even hooked up to nothing. Okay, there. All right. That R mean I want to pay attention to the red. Let me hit M to mute it. So we're going to look at it again. Anything that has red in it, that top has red. This, this side has red. Definitely right here has red. When it turns red, it's going to turn white. Let me hit. I'm going to get it. Why is it not working? <sighs> it's not working the way I want. Okay, there it is. Let me mute it now. See, the top is red. Unmute it. Now it's white. Now, this side that has blue, it does not have any. If you look on the internet, do research on the blue. Blue does not have any red. So, it's going to turn the blue side black. Let me hit the mute again. And you see that blue side is black, and everything else has some portion of reds, so it has shades of gray. No one ever told me that. And when it comes to bump map, if this was bump map, all of the, um, and we're going to see that later, all of the gray, this white portion, that would get, you know, pushed out a little bit. P pushed out. Now, let me put it back on mute. Let me go to my next, the, the, um, the green. Okay, I'm on green. What colors look green? This is over here green. So this side should be white where my mouse at. White. Let me hit the unmute it. And zap. You see it's white. Now, blue does not have any green on it. Hit mute. And white and uh and red has no green. So that should turn black. Because remember, the fundamental colors and it's through the application. I guess all of them is white and black. And all the other colors are in the middle somewhere. All of them. So red doesn't have any green in it. So it should turn black. Hit it, hit it again. Hit M. And there it is, black. Everything else that's white has some green in it. Hit the M again. And as you see, right here at the bottom, the more it moves to the left, it gets green. It contains green, especially this bottom portion. The bottom portion has a lot of green in it. So that should be per nearly perfectly white. And you see, that bottom part is nearly perfectly white. See, no one ever told me about the color stuff. How, what it mean? Now I'm telling you. What it means. So if it was bump matte, like I said, the black portion would be concave. The white portion would be exposed a little bit. But since it's a cube, I can't, it don't matter if I use it. So let, let's see. Let's, now let me go to my next color. Put it on mute. It's red or blue. I'm on blue now. What color should not have any blue in it? Hit the mute. Okay. So the color at the bottom should not have any blue. And what color does that have to be? Yellow. As you know, so yellow has zero blue in it. So 
the yellow side is black. So if I bump mapped it based on separate RGB, it will produce some concave and some convex. But since it's a cube, it ain't gonna do much. All right, so let me hit, let me hit my M again. So now we do ha we have a, a little understanding of the colors. Transfer to white. Separate means it isolate that one particular color, blue. Let me hit M again. And as you see, this whole side is blue. Definitely this edge is blue. So all that part should be white. And cyan must have contained some blue in it. Hit M again. And zap. There we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm done with this little uh, thing. So let me bring back my other, my other thing so we can get some more into it. I can hide this one. Oops. Alt Z. Alt H. Click on this. Hide just that one. And let me zoom in some more to this one. This figure right here. So you see right here, I have it on. I'll click on it. I have a whole no no setup for this. I have to zoom out some more. Let me let me see if I can bring some up so you can see them some more better. Yeah, I minimize it because all you need is to see the, the, the titles of them. You need to see the titles. I want you to see the titles clearly. So they don't have to be that normal size. You see right here. Like I said, I'm slowly getting better with these nodes. And the main thing is this texture coordinate, magic, texture, separate. I have a color ramp. Why do I have my color ramp off? Okay, good. So I don't even need to worry about my color. I have a, I have a separate RGB, which is fundamental to, to help us to understand what the colors mean by changing it to black and white, which the computer love. You know, computers just love zero and one. Electronic things just love zero and one, and it just simulate all the other little colors. But they understand black and white, and I have a bump note, which is important. See, so you see the bump note make it look like it's got the little bumpy stuff in there, and that's where the colors come in at with the bump node it looked like it's bumpy it looked like it got some texture to it now let me click on my separate rgb now we see the color in here i guess you have this one open i want to have this open we see all these colors in here i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna go back to red if i can i'm on red we see what looks red right here in this corner where my mouse at Let's see what happened when I activate the separate RGB. Where that, where my mouse ho hovering at, that should turn white, really. I'm going to hit M again. And zap. Where it was red at. And when that, anything that contains red, contains red. It's all white. It's all white. And you see... Why well, don't look so it don't look bumpy anymore? Oh, maybe because I turned my color ramp off. Let me go back. Let me hit Control Z a couple times so I can get back to my original look, if I can. Okay. Yeah, this is my original that I wanted right here. Well, it looked like it had some texture in there. I turn off. I hit the M. It like it got some texture to it. It looks three dimensional. I hit M. And we see everything that contains red in there. Oops. Oh. Okay, so different colors make it look more different. But all the red has been turned white. Like up in these edges inside of it hit M turn white let's go to my next one shift click I'm going to green now that's how I look when it's green so it's isolating all the green and making all the green look white let me turn it off let's see where the green at 
Oh, I, I definitely know these edges are green right here. The edges. Let me hit M again. See how them edges look. Yeah. And there, see? The edges gone. All these outer edges. This right here, the circling, this um circular shape. All the edges are green, so it's gonna get rid of the green and turn it white. M. There we go. And it has a different look to my cube too. Now I'm gonna get to my last one. Blue. Shift. Hit M again. Where all the blue at? And then I had some blue on it. It should turn a different. It should turn white looking. Hit M. I definitely know, like I said before, these edges, they look like they blue. M. So all that other stuff right here contains some blue. Some portion of blue. And that's why it looks like a line. M again. So even this red. Oh, you're right. See, the red don't contain no blue. So that's why the red is black. And the yellow don't contain any blue. So that's why that line right there. Because yellow has no blue. Red has no blue. And then let's make a line straight down for all of it. Yeah. See? No blue with that. And then let's leave the white alone. Because... Oh, white does have blue. Remember, because white contains all the color. So that's why the white portion is not affected. So I'm going to hit it again. Hit M again. So the white, maybe the red has a little bit of blue in it too. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The yellow and the red don't have any blue. So that's why it turns like linear. This cyan color, you see, is sort of bluish. So it's going to turn white or some type of gray. So that's it for the video, my good people. A little trying to understand of what the colors mean using the separate RGB. Remember, the computer does basically see two colors, white and black. All the other colors are a combination of their white and black. See, now, going back to the beginning, now... I'm hit Alt H. Alt H. Go back to my cube right here. Move it over. Turn off this. And now I have an understanding of what these colors mean. Translate them into a. Uh, translate them into separate RGB. And you get to understand what it means. What if I was having the bump map on it, like I have on my picture right here with the bump map on it, the one with the um the black parallel lines, we know how this would be affected by a bump map. The more white it is, the more concave it will be. Like with my structure right here. The structure right here. I put it back on. Let me see. Right there. And it had that three dimensional look to it. I think I had to turn it off. No, I didn't. Let me see. But y'all saw in the beginning when it had that three dimensional look to it. Because I was. I had it on RGB. And. It was separating certain colors. So thank you for stopping by. I hope this little video give you, like he's giving me, a little bit of understanding of what those texture colors mean. Like I said, I watch many videos on YouTube. No one ever explained. They just come over here and start clicking on, uh, like I'm doing, like I'm clicking on this node. That's all they keep doing, clicking and clicking and clicking. With no understanding of what those color means. It's relationship to black and it's relationship to white. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this gave you some understanding of what the colors mean. Remember, I said I've only been using the notes for three weeks. I'm not a full-fledged guru, but my knowledge is increasing like yours. And you see 
I, 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 this is my own node setup. So the next year, I'll probably be advanced using these nodes. Remember, for the new people who may be listening, the nodes are in the shader section making your own material. Like if you had, I'm looking at my glass right now. I'm looking at the mirror. My mirror has a grunge on it. A little bit, you know, when you look at the mirror, it's got a little bit of grunge. The texture or the shading, you can put little, little grunge marks on the mirror. That's what it's for. Making your own textures and not having to always download something off the internet. But ne- my fear of the nodes is, the, is lessening. And I hope your fear of nodes is lessening. Thank you for stopping by. Until the next episode, good people. Peace.